Today we're tackling home improvement concepts here at the Home Depot in Patterson. No, this is not this house. No, this is not Bob Vila's home again. This is home improvement with a side of clumsiness, as in the multi Emmy nominated classic 90s sitcom, which launched the careers of Tim Allen, Richard Kahn, Patricia Richardson, and the hot blob of the decade, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Speaking of hot blobs, anyone who can wield a tool with great power for the benefit of the home is a hot blob in my book. So I'm playing home improvement with style. And well, I'll spend it to do it. This is the third store rundown of Weenie Hollywood Home on a budget. So here we have the game all set up and ready to go. We have the home improvement cards placed in the center of the board. Two to six players or teams, who should be referred to as handymen and or neighbors throughout gameplay, take four cards apiece, and the rest are to be left in the center of the board. The objective of the game is to win $50,000 in equity or increase the value of your home by 50 grand by completing one or more home improvement tasks. We have a marker, we have uh, four card sets, we have six character pawns, and we have two die, and we have money in increment amounts of five, ten, a hundred, five hundred, and a thousand dollars, and they're all color coded, by the way. Here's a brief summary of gameplay as indicated in the double sided gameplay sheet. Handymen proceed around the outer track of the board purchasing tools and supplies required to complete the jobs described on the home improvement cards. And the outer track being these shopping squares. And that is where three of four card decks come in, which I'll talk more about in a second. When a handyman has all the supplies, all tools required to complete the task, they may proceed to the home squares. And that's on the inside track here. The home squares. And we have an uh, upstairs general area, the den, office, a library, a basement, a family room, a master bedroom, the dining room, the game room, and the kitchen, just to name a few. When they land on the room indicated on the home improvement card, they take a tool time waiting card. Handyman add the equity indicated on the home improvement card to their equity score sheet if successful. That's just a brief summary. If you like to pause and enlarge this so you can read uh, this double-sided gameplay sheet, you can. We have four card decks here. We have the power card right here. If you land on the power card, you have to do what that power card says. For example here, bad news. You discover that Al's mother has been calling your spouse Colette. Overtime at work is needed to cover the bill. Go directly to work. So some of these cards, a lot of these cards, can be pretty tricky. How about if you land on the Heidi Ho Good Neighbor card set? That's right here. And most of these cards are pretty good. They work to your benefit. You go to garage sales with Wilson and find the most incredible deal. Add a tool of your choice to your collection for half price. You are not to pick up any of these cards until you have enough to do so. Enough money. We have these Go Ask Out cards right here. If you land on the Go Ask Al card, uh, you will be quizzed as to general knowledge of home improvement. True or false, fill in the blank, and multiple choice questions. For example, Al says, Light and shiny colors are better for painting radiators because they radiate the heat better. That would be false. Dark colors with bad finishes are better. Go to the store of your choice. And that's if you get this right, by the way. Now let's talk about some of the uh, specialty stores on the outer side of this track, and those are the shopping squares. Jill's Designer Boutique, Wilson's Zap and Tap, and the Home Improvement Center, the K&B Construction, Harry's Hardware, and Binford Tools. Which, by the way, wherever Tim Allen goes, Binford Tools go with him. Binford Tools were mentioned and or seen in Toy Story and in the Last Man Standing episode. For Borland's Bargain Basement, you may purchase any one tool or supply that you desire from Borland's Bargain Basement at 50% off the purchase price if you land on that square. For K&B Construction, you may only rent tools, and they must leave a ton when the job is finished. If you are contracting KB Construction, you have to pay the listed cost to the bank Mark off the appropriate tool or supply for the job and return to the room where the work is to be done. The job will then be complete and the equity can be added to your score seat. So uh, some of these things do
do serve a purpose and others don't. And that's according to the uh, gameplay sheet, which again is double-sided. The winner is the first handyman to earn over $50,000 equity and past payday. For example, here is a home improvement card top number 80. Your spouse has been talking to Jill and now feels more romance would go a long way to help your marriage. She has you install a gas fireplace so you can have a romantic evening with her whenever the mood strikes you. The place is the living room. Your tools? One 14-inch pipe wrench from Wilson's Zap and Tap. These are husky wrenches, and yet I don't see a 14-inch pipe wrench. I'm about to have a Tim Taylor moment in a few seconds, and that spells disaster. Your supplies? An electric gas burning fireplace from k and Construction. This is more like it. Check out these cool fireplaces. We got one from Stylewell, their Flint Hill Collection, Coil Media Electric Fireplace for $199, and then we have an Electric Quartz Log Set for $139. I'm more attracted to this colonial looking fireplace from Home Decorators. And that is an infrared fireplace. Cost $329. 40-inch infrared mantle electric fireplace from Highland. Very colonial-esque. Adds a bit of uh, romanticism to it. And then we have another one in the home decorators collection. The Aspot 54-inch infrared media electric fireplace for $299. Either way, you're staying under the budget of K&B Construction's fireplaces which cost $1,200. Any amount of equity, that's the amount you can win if the job is completed, $5,200. Take a tool time rating, uh, tool time rating number three, and only then can you read the back here. If I was helping you, this wouldn't have happened. You installed that fireplace without hooking up the gas. Now you have to take it out and redo it. The job is complete. You only earned $4,200 because it doesn't look nearly as good the second time around. No, I would like to go number one. Well, Jill certainly knows how to rekindle the romantic spark in your marriage. If anyone does a home improvement, that would be Patricia Richardson, the most Emmy nominated star of the cast. The fireplace is the perfect thing to set the mood in your living room. The job is complete. Go to payday. I put this card at the top of the deck because we have an affinity for Walmart that the thrift store went down. No matter how, we can find it. One more time, look at this uh, instruction sheet because I stress to you all the time the importance of reading the instructions. Otherwise, you're going to be hella confused like I was when I first opened this up. So this is uh, fairly complex. A lot of variables, a lot of math, but it does a reasonable job at explaining the ins and outs of tackling a home improvement project by yourself, even without the clumsiness of Tim Taylor and his tailor-made experiences, which are tailor-made for disaster. Or contracting someone else out to do it, which costs more, but hey, better results, right? Home Improvement, the hilarious handyman game manufactured in 1992 by Northern Games Company of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada and designed by Burana Web Innovations in Calgary, Alberta, Canada is a fast-paced romp through your own home with nothing but your tool belt to guide you. You'll start the game off with a pocket full of cash and a fistful of jobs that need to be completed around your home. The, the object of the game is to complete these jobs as fast as you can there is a time-limited version that you can play for quicker gameplay and earn $50,000 equity in your home. The first able to do this is the winner. If you think this sounds easy, well, you better hold down to your tool belt because along the way, Tim will probably come over to help you. Oh, no! You'll need to seek advice from Wilson, the tailor's neighbor. If you find yourself in over your head, you can always seek help from the guys at KB Construction or get some professional advice from Al, who is played by Richard Kahn. He is Tim Taylor's sidekick. You could combine forces with Jill Taylor to have a garage sale, or you might even have a one-in with Al's mom. So get the tool time game together. By the way, did you know, they use members of Home Improvement Studio Audience to use as extras for the tool time studio audience. Way to get the audience involved. Get them together. Play Home Improvement, the hilarious handyman game, and let the smell of overheated engines, the scream of saber saws, and the flash of blowing fuses get your adrenaline flowing. Ages teen to adult, again, two to six players or teams, any number per team. 
approximate playing time, 60 to 90 minutes, equipment, the contents, the game board, two die, six playing pieces, and there is a reason for two die. Five different decks of cards, home improvement game money, and easy to follow blue footed instructions, and a score seat. Plus, an extra pencil, which I didn't sell, but it's in there, and that's really classic for me because uh, I don't have many pencils in home. But there you go, this is the Home Improvement Hilarious Handyman game. Now for my complaints. When I bought this at the thrift store for $3.99, so yeah. We know how to play to play around here. It was wrapped in packaging tape. When I went to take it off, it damaged the box art. So, a part of the logo and a part of the back of the box is damaged. Let this be a lesson to you. Never use packaging tape to seal a box. You're going to ruin the art. It will adhere to the art so bad that it rips it off if you're not careful. <laughs> And that's just not allowed. One of the Go Ask Out cards is blank, by the way. Which is also not acceptable. And there are plenty of variables in here, as I mentioned. But, at the end of the day, I give this a 4 out of 5. This is tailor-made for fun. Yes, it does take a bit of getting used to when you first play it. And it can trick you at times. But, if I can do it, to paraphrase an old Home Depot commercial, you can do it, but please, God, don't let Tim Taylor help you. He needs all the help he can get himself. Bottom line is, with this game, any time is... And unlike Tim's TV segment, it's time and money well spent. Thanks for watching. From the Hope Depot in Patterson, I'll catch you on the thrift side.